right, we're here at the lot. The final day, baby. We got two more fat pit bulls. One's really deep. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna see, all we have is Chucky today. Chuck E. Cheese, AKA Krusty the Clown. Too bad. He's gonna have to suck it, chuck it up, man, and pull some buckets. Cause uh, the, I think one hole's about 12 feet deep. We're gonna see if we can finish these two holes in one day. All right, let's get to work. <gasps> Super quick assembly. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Assemble Excalibur. Oh, it's locked. It's a lock, baby. Oh yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas to the rest of us. Here's the next one over here. On the edge of oblivion. The basement almost took this one out, but it didn't. Here's the 12 footer. This will be fun. Cross your bottles, everyone. So when I probe this thing with the seven, I handled it, dude. Which means it was at least seven, but it felt like it was just getting more hollow down there, so. Oh, mama. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not 12. I'm hoping for eight, okay? More ASMR. They're gonna fill this basement in, so. Get the little, get to play a little basement baseball. <laughs> Let's watch the splash. Who's down? Oh yeah. Oh. Platos way. Old plate. This is what you always do with old plates. Some dirt that collects inside it. Always dump the dirt out because if somebody dropped a coin into the hole, it could settle on top of this plate. I know it sounds weird, but uh, Coins would sink because they were heavier than this dirt. So if they didn't sink to the bottom, they'd get caught on something. And a plate is something that's perfect to catch stuff. Let's see. Charles Meek in England. Looks like an 1880s Royal Ironstone China plate. That design is, is uh, mid to late 1880s. See if there's any buggy strings in it. No, you can tell if it was a la carte. <laughs> oh shit, these cheesy ass jokes. It's too early for this shit, dude. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Never try this at home. There's just not enough lamp chimneys in this pit to really screw me over that way. <laughs> what do you want on your coffin? Uh, nothing, apparently. <laughs> the man who never was man with no tombstone to memorialize his name. Whiskey. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> the funk of 40,000 years. <sighs> oh, that does not smell good. Oh, it's a whiskey bottle with some very putrid rainwater in it. Ready for some more bottle ASMR? Oh God, oh amazing. Oh. More, more, give me more. Oh. Oh. oh, it's just so soft down here. Just this fluffy layer of poop. There's a penny pipe, penny pipe broken. Oh God. I love poop. Before the 20th century, people in the American West preferred pipe smoking to cigarettes. Clay tobacco pipes came in a variety of shapes and styles ranging from decorative down to plain white. Mass produced in Scotland, the plain white pipes were sold for a penny in almost every saloon. 
and came with long stems meant to be snapped off in order to avoid the spread of the biggest epidemic of the 19th century, tuberculosis, aka consumption, which was transmitted by the saliva of an infected person. If two smokers shared a pipe, the second smoker would break off a bit of the stem before putting his lips on it, therefore avoiding direct saliva contact with the first smoker. Right on the bottom here in the seed layer, you can see all those fresh, beautiful intestinal seeds. Look at that. They were eating pretty good out here in the valley. Lots of fruits and vegetables, apparently. And some old shoes. This is kind of interesting. Since this is a, a railroad town, here's some bottles from like the Midwest, like Cincinnati, Ohio. So they came out, came out here on the train. So you're seeing a lot of stuff that came out here via rail after the Transcontinental Railroad was built. It was like a highway from the East Coast to the West and more bots started coming out on the train in the, after 1869. So, you can see a lot of stuff from all over the United States. Just a lot more. I mean, before they shipped it on, they shipped it, but they also blew a lot of glass out west. But in these railroad towns, there's just a lot of eastern made stuff. Buffalo, New York, Cincinnati, Rochester, New York. So we found that uh, gonorrhea cure injection thing in the last dig, but Here's for the uh, the prostitute that gave it to him, for the lusty ladies of the night. Forget about it, huh? A perfume bottle used by one of the hookers in this hotel. You see me? This is crazy. The paper label is still visible on this coffin flask. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. WW something. Crystal, what's that crystal? Something, I think I see San Francisco. Oh my God, if you could just read it a little bit more. Something more visible, WW thing, crystal something. Uh, wow. <laughs> Here's a nice profile. Everyone wants to see my profile. It's so popular. I love it. A little, probably an eye, eye remedy or a, oh, Fonstock's Vermifuge. This was for intestinal worms, and parasites from eating all the spoiled meat. There's a Champagne from France. And a uh, medicine bottle from who knows where, because it's not embossed. And a, Oh, another medicine bottle full of seeds. <laughs> God, uh, what a wonderful seed layer. It's great. Mm, it's so good. The love toilet. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about over there? Okay, so how's the big hole going? Well, it's four by six. Yeah. So who knows? They could have had like one line of uh, holes for the, the ladies on the front side and one line of holes on the back side for the men. Yeah, the men, possible. backside? That's all I heard you say. Well, you're just hearing what you want to hear. No, I'm just hearing what you're saying. You're literally saying yeah, that. Well, you're interpreting what you want to hear. <laughs> Don't you're, justify it. Big, you can't. Pretty. Nice honey amber on that safe, dude. All right. So here's the big Bahama mama. Oh, baby. This is gonna be a ladder job in here. It's not as deep as we thought. It's only about eight feet, which is perfect. Oh, man. Oh. Let's do some shovel reps. Huh. Everybody was bottle digging. almost looks like a woman's hole down here. You got like all these little clear tonic pharmacy bottles. And, and then there's just all these little pharmacy bots in here. Like it's just like for the women, like the 
dudes were drinking, throwing their whiskey bottles into the other holes, and the women were like, oh, this is for my face, this is facial cream. I'm sorry if that's sexist, but it's kind of true. Aha! Aha! Someone kill me from the STD. Injection brow, yeah. Here's where the, uh, the little gonorrhea plunger came from. The, they would come in a box with this bottle or other bottles like it. This is injection brow. It's a gonorrhea cure. <laughs> Definitely hookers in this hotel. You know you're digging a brothel when you find vulcanite douches and VD cure injectors. Perfume for quick cleaning between clients. Bottles full of opium. And of course, lots of whiskey. What'd you find? Did you find that in the tailings pile? Uh, yeah, like right up there. Let's see, I'm find it. Up. That might actually be. It might be. It might be a token or something, or a button. Something. Be really careful with it. Yeah. It's got some kind of insignia on it. It might be a military button. Oh wow. Whoa, that's really cool. Wow. Good work. Always look at the tailings pile. We got an intact lamp globe. Someone went out to the privy in the middle of the night and oops. So that would be the uh, the font part. This would contain the oil and then there'd be the uh, the uh, uh, wick and the thing that you know you roll up the you roll the wick up with that has the soaking oil and then there'd be the chimney up here. Okay, getting down there, getting digging with it. We got the bot. What more do you need? Big old pharmacy. La Pharmacia. Huh. Oh, what's this weird thing? Ambiguous piece of metal. Probably a handle or something. Yeah. This hole's big enough to throw over your shoulder. Wow. I got a corner post right here. Here's the actual corner of the hole. Some window glass. Piece of a mason bar. Mason, 1858. Well, that would have been a beautiful one because it's the whittle. Yeah. They call that the whittle effect. It's just the glass mm -hmm. drying. Or they, I think it's they blew it into a cold mold in the morning. It's one of the first blows of the day. This is darker colored liquid in a sealed apothecary bottle. This could easily be opium some kind of opium tar derivative product. It's got a nice color to it, nice dark rich color. I just saw this rolled out of my dirt. That's a little shot of heroin. You could buy this in the Sears catalog, just one shot at a time, just inject yourself. So that's a, that's a shot of H right there, but it's a glass syringe. Weird stuff from the railroad. Some snake oil medicine. Dr. Bo Sanko's cough and lung syrup. Because out here in this dusty valley, there was probably a lot of people that had a cough. Oh, we got a perfume from one of the hookers in the hotel with the stopper. Got some kind of Rockingham. Maybe a spittoon. Oh, it's a pitcher. Whoa, look at that. Oh, flipped out a, flipped out a Mexican Mustang liniment too. Whoa, whoa. Oh, come on, baby. Whoa, shit. Fucking Rockingham pitcher with a dude on it. Dude, where's my car? Wow, holy shnikes. Whoa, he's like, oh, that's sick. Is that a gun? Wow, dude, it's like a hunter dude. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> a little paint bottle right next to it. Jeez, that's fucking epic. Wow. Whoa. Okay, I'm good. Cruising on the bottom here. 
just exposed a bot right on the bottom. This will be the oldest age of the pit. So the bottom is right there, that clean kind of virgin light colored soil. And then you got the darker organics above it. Let's see what we got with this bot. I'm guessing it's going to be another liquor bottle. Because almost every bot on this lot is liquor. Ooh, baby. Beer me. Oh, no, we got that one thing. That works. Nice big old size blob top beer. 1880s, nice applied top. Probably made in the East Coast, unfortunately. Milwaukee. <laughs> I guess there was some beer made there, possibly. Ha. Huh. Wisconsin Glass Company. Look at that. I bet that's what that that stands for. Wisconsin G Co. Milwaukee. Cool. Cool. Uh, rising. Well, we're done with the big hole, the last hole. Yeah. There's the bottom. The walls are really distinctive. Big old hotel pit. There's a newer pipe from 1910 that they put over it. Word. Well, actually, there is one more task we must do here. <laughs> Time capsule. <laughs> this has a this has a hair follicle in it, and um, it's like a pleading note saying, "If you find this, dear future evolved people, if you locate this, please uh, clone me using this DNA." and try to bring back my consciousness while you're at it. There we go, that'll help. One more chance at life. Yeah, boy, all done. Now for the best part, the big bottle split. We're starting to do the pick. The uh, owners, Jorge and Adrian, who let us dig. They've taken their first picks. Oh, they got the jug. Surprise. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, the epic find <laughs> the dude with the gun. <laughs> and um, yeah, now we're gonna go. You wanna flip a coin, Chuck? Where's the coin? I don't have a coin. Gotta... Of course you don't have a coin. Freaking guy. It needs to be a quarter, an old fat corner. We have the old coin, we have the old button. Does that work? Yeah. I'm gonna All flip right. this one I'm aside. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna put this one aside for the owner because he did one of this. Oh yeah, naturally. That, that's my dad. The opium bottle. Don't show flow. <laughs> Damn. I wanted to sell that on eBay. <laughs> have good rotation on it. All right, let's see how good your luck is, big boy. Well, you gotta have good rotation. Shut up. All right. No, no. You get has to. It has to. Yeah, I do it on my hand. No bullshit. I don't want you cheating. Just let it hit the ground. Great. It's a two-sided. Yeah. It's a double-head quarter, anyway. No, it's alright. Hit. Okay, you, you win. Oh, your luck sucks, dude. You even called it like as it hit the ground. I know. Well, yeah, it didn't give me much time. <laughs> all right, I had, I had Mr. Last, mind. as always. Wait a minute. Well, we've almost divvied up all of it. <laughs> Our pile, their pile. Ready, battle. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like toy soldiers <laughs> paddling each other. <laughs> what a fun dig. And there you have it.